hello it's Sarah and today I have my very first chunky charm a la Anna Lanas. she is a youtuber who has kind of created her own style of chunky charm um, I've made purse charms I've made bead dangles and other types I've made chunky charms before but not to this extent so before I get into that um, I just wanted to tell you what I used. She uses chain. I used three pieces of chain and they happen to come. Oh man, did I set that aside, the other piece of chain? Because I got it at Michael's. Hold on, it's here. Here it is, I got it. Um, and I don't have the packaging, but this is the chain. I'm going to try and hold this up. You see how there are um, jump rings? hanging off the chain. They're already on the chain. This was, I believe, 24 inches of chain. So I cut three six inch pieces of it and then I attached them to this, which is actually a um, earring. It's an earring pendant maker, like a pendant for earrings. So it has, it's the same on both sides, which I liked, but now I've covered it up anyway. So I hung my three pieces of chain from that. I have two left. They were, there was a five one that I was tempted to get, but I uh, went with the three because I know myself and I can't stop. So basically I did it Christmas themed, as you can tell. I'm working on Christmas things. I have my bottle caps coming today. I found the other one, the, the one from the package with the, um, five that you get from um, Hobby Lobby. Anyway, um, so I have a lot of Christmas stuff out. I'm actually working on several projects at the moment because um, I think I'm like Miss taking a page from Miss D's book who has several projects going at the, at the same time. Um, anyway, I'm not sure what I think of this ribbon. I'm going to um, let you guys help me decide. I don't have any seam binding in red and green. I guess I could try coloring the crinkle rim it, ribbon but this is such a pretty green and red color but I don't even need it really I think it looks fine it kind of looks like a Christmas tree the way, the way it hangs so I love that um, so what I did in the very I guess I can zoom in I'm gonna leave it hanging and I've never filmed a chunky charm before so we'll see how this goes I actually glued well there's my little made with love um, charms I put them right on the top I glued this red bow to this part here and then on the back I glued a poinsettia and that's a button so I like that I like how that turned out I'm gonna he might still be a little wet because I just did that this morning um, so you can see where my three chains are attached and I literally I doubt that there's any jump ring that does not have a, a charm on it so I think I started basically with um, my bigger pieces my bigger beads I have not gotten I wanted to go to um because I think they're on sale this week they're Christmas beads and I should go I might go um, tomorrow or tonight even but um, to Hobby Lobby because that's the only place around here that I've gotten nice big chunky Christmas beads because I'll show you I'm gonna turn this around again because that pole is in the way you know what I might I should lay it down I think I could lay it down and get a better yeah I think I'm gonna try that let me lay it down my desk is full of stuff like I said I'm gonna take one at a time so maybe this will be easier to do because um, the, the charms will kind of go to the side that actually looks pretty good um, but oh you know what else too I think like that Santa bead I think I did get that at Hobby Lobby but I know I got these um, the glass beads at um, Oriental Trading that's where I got them and that was last year I haven't placed an order this year I got these charms They're I think they're polymer clay charms I got a lot of the metal charms at um, the snowman at um, Oriental Trading. I think this was just on a, I've had them forever, some of these things. They're just in a Christmas bin. I have a Christmas bead bin, and I just keep them in there. So 
These are little um, buttons. These uh, light ones are buttons. There's a bigger light on here that is actually from, um, here it is. These I just got, mini ornaments. They're for the mini ornaments, but they're like the little, I'll show you when I come across one of them. This is, and then yesterday, all I did, because the beads are still 50% off at Michael's for all of the uh, colors, all the sides, not just the red labels. I got these red ones and a green one like that. That's all I got. Um, and then I just used what I had in my stash. Oh, actually, no, I lied. This gold one I got because I thought it looked just like an ornament. So I only put three of them on the whole thing. I put some of them, I just put one on each, kind of staggered. But this is covered in, I mean, this is literally every bead I could put on here, like I said, um, I did. So that's the first chain. I have a donut. But you'll see repeats. There's a lot of repeats. It's all red, green, <coughs> excuse me, and white. And then I just put this silver, I'm sorry, the gold uh, one ornament bead. So this is the middle one. <clears throat> I'll put this over here. And I only put one of the Santas. If I have a big Santa bead, I put one of them. See here, here it is. This is the other light I was talking about. Um, I guess I could zoom in a tiny bit. I don't like zooming because then I forgot I zoomed. I put ho, ho, ho. I made a ho, ho, ho out of my letter beads. Um, the, these little bells were new. I hadn't used them before. More stockings. Definitely enamel charms. I used a lot of enamel charms. Um, see, there's another one of those gold ornament beads. And the candy. There's a reindeer enamel bead. But the candy pieces are super cute. This one's like a red and green one. I think I just have a red and white one over here. They're cute. They really do look like that uh, peppermint candy. Um, I have a lot of enamel beads. They're up, I mean, a charm. They're upside down. A package, a Santa. There's a tree here. So this probably isn't the best view to show this. Oh, I have these... Um, these three-dimensional charms, like this is a rocking chair. Right there, a, a rocking horse, not a chair, silly. Um, see, there's another one of those lights. And here's the reindeer, I like him, Rudolph. So, all right, this last one, I'll give you a little more detailed view, I'll hold it up. So, I mean, I literally start right at the top and start. And I just use, I use some of my furnace glass, which I love my furnace glass. That's that red one there. That's a, that's a button. White, gold. The bell. There's a um, reindeer, yeah. A reindeer charm. Just more pretty, pretty glass beads. I love to use glass beads. Ooh, that one looks like a sugary piece of candy. The stocking. Look at that big Santa bead. I still have two of them left. Oh, I gotta put a little dangle on the bottom. See, he has an eye down there. I wanna put a little candy cane. I have it set aside and I never put it on. I'm just gonna put a candy cane there. I love these beads too, that glass bead. I put a little gingerbread man charm, enamel charm, cause he's near the gingerbread house. And that's a polymer clay one. And just more, this, I had very few of these little bows. I wish I had more and I wish I remembered where I got them. Kirby, wait a minute. Elf. And just a big white one at the bottom of that. So I'm really, really, it was so fun to make, so fun. Here's my um, stick pin thing I made last year. So I still have, like there's one of the Santas right here. I made a stick pin of him. I don't think I made a, a stick pin with my other Santa. Maybe I'll make a stick pin. That's a good idea. Wait a minute, Curb. I'm almost done. But anyway, so these will be out for Christmas. This is like going to be a Christmas decoration now. I love it. I don't know about this, uh, about the uh, ribbon. My, my son liked it. Um, it just doesn't seem to hang. I'm going to zoom back out, make sure I'm zoomed out. But it doesn't seem to... I don't know. I wish I had seam binding. All right, you guys. I might film this again. I'm not sure. I'll go have a look and see what I have.